obesity is something that is very, um, it's a prevalent problem, but even though it's so common, it's associated with a lot of uh, anti-obesity stigma uh, and discrimination. So uh, many people who are obese uh, feel and perceive and have been repeatedly uh, uh, treated poorly or unfairly because of their excess weight. And that actually backfires. That doesn't lead to people developing more healthful uh, lives and eating better and exercising more. And, and uh, it makes people feel badly about themselves and it often uh, leads to uh, them seeking less preventative care, less treatment. Um, so one thing is, you know, at the broad level, people becoming increasingly aware, people at the societal level and also healthcare providers who are in the field and in the business of, of helping uh, people should be increasingly aware of both explicit and implicit forms of biases against people with excess weight and to counter uh, those attitudes. Um, the other thing with binge eating disorder is the awareness that it is, even though a lot of the problem concern problem is described as overeating uh, while feeling out of control. Many of these individuals have very significant body image disturbances, so they feel very um, uh, negative. They feel uh, very badly uh, about their bodies, regardless of their weight. And their weight and shape uh, are really amongst the most important things that they use to evaluate themselves as human beings. And because of that, um, they feel very badly when they can't control their eating, or they don't control their eating, or they put on weight, and they feel absolutely disgusted with themselves. And I realize disgusted is a strong word, but that's, uh, that's the, those are the terms the pay, that the patients share with me. Um, so this is a problem that um, greater recognition by clinicians in a variety of general health settings would be useful because of People who struggle with binge eating disorder uh, often do so in isolation and in secrecy and in, in alone. Their, their partners, uh, their family members, their best friends often don't know that they are struggling with this alone. And uh, uh, recognition of these factors by healthcare practitioners uh, is a useful way to, in a compassionate and empathic way, begin the conversation uh, with their patients rather than just saying, go on a diet. But, to begin the other way, which is, do you have concerns about your weight? Do you have concerns about the way you eat sometimes, or some of the eating patterns you might have? Can you tell me about those? That kind of open, uh, less critical, and uh, compassionate uh, way of starting a conversation with a patient can, I think, help greater recognition and a therapeutic relationship.